I'm Kath. Welcome to my channel Made by Kathcraft. Thank you very much for joining me today for another video. In this video I'm going to share with you a week of my handmade wardrobe. So I'm planning on popping on every day this week and sharing what I'm wearing that's handmade and I'm going to talk about the pattern and pattern company and I'm going to chat about sizing and any adjustments I've made to the pattern and also what fabric I've used and how I'm planning to style the garment up. And I'm doing this as part of Me Made May, which you may have already heard of. It's a challenge that happens on Instagram every year. And this is week two of Me Made May this year. So I've already filmed my week one handmade wardrobe video, which is already out and I'll link it up above in case you fancy watching that if you haven't seen it already. And in that video, I talk a bit more about what Me Made May is. But for this video, I thought I won't go through it again. I'll just launch straight into what I'm wearing. And to recap on my personal challenge I've set myself, I am trying to wear every day of the week a different pattern company. So each of this week I'm planning on yeah, wearing something different for a different pattern company. It will hopefully encourage me to mix up my wardrobe as much as possible this week. So today is Saturday the 7th of May, so it's the weekend here. And I do often find at the weekend that I tend to reach for jeans and t-shirt as a bit of a weekend uniform, just because I've got quite small children and so it's quite nice to be really practical at the weekend because we're often really busy and active and getting out and about. But today I thought, no, because it's me made May, I'm going to make an effort not to reach for those jeans and t-shirts. And I decided to put on a jersey dress. And I do find jersey dresses to be a really practical item to wear too, because I find jerseys quite a durable fabric and they're nice and stretchy and comfy to wear. So I really enjoyed wearing this jersey dress pattern today. And we have had a busy day, actually. We went out litter picking this morning. We joined a local litter picking group who meet up once a month and litter pick around the area. And it was our first time joining and it was quite a lot of fun. And then we've back, been back in the garden, busy in the garden, and this jersey dress has been really comfy and relaxed to wear. So I think I should yeah, try and mix it up a bit more at the weekends more often. And the jersey dress I made is using um, one of the big four pattern companies, actually. And I generally do tend to sew up indie patterns, but I do like some of the big four pattern company patterns, and I would like to sew more of them. And this is one I've had for a long time. It's one of my favourites I've made to date. And it's this pattern here. It is the McCall's M7561. And it's a really nice sort of jersey t-shirt dress style pattern and the great thing about this pattern has has loads of different variations included in it i'll show you the line drawings so its basic premise is a t-shirt dress with a gathered skirt and you can either make sort of a just above the knee skirt or a full length skirt but the bodice has loads of different options included it's got a scoop neck at the front or a high neck at the front and you can also make this kind of deep scoop at the back and then it's got a short sleeve option a sleeveless option and a three-quarter sleeve too so i think it's a really versatile pattern and i think it's quite a simple silhouette to it too it's all worked really well in lots of different fabrics and I've made a few of this pattern and I find it fits really nicely. In terms of sizing, um, it's available in a um, size extra small up to extra extra large. The largest size is for a bust of 48 inches and hips of 50 inches. But it's worth bearing in mind the pattern only comes um, in three, size three sizes. So I've got the um, extra small to medium size range, which is the Y um, paper pattern option. But then there's also a double Z option, which then covers the large to extra, extra large. So you need to make sure you get the right pattern based on your sizing. But it's a really nice one, this one. And I generally make the same version, which is with a scoop neck T-shirt with the short sleeves and a gathered skirt that comes just above my knee. And in terms of sizing, I always go for the size small, which is designed for a bust of 31 and a half to 32 and a half inches, which is pretty much bang on my bust measurement. I'm 32. The waist and hips for the size small are slightly smaller than me and I'm waist 26 and hips 36. But I find with a gathered skirt there's plenty of room in it so the hip measurement is not too critical and I've always found the waist measurement on the size small has been fine for me and there is some negative ease built in with it being jersey fabric and it just stretches around my hips. I'm sorry my waist just fine. So yeah, I'll, yeah I really like this dress actually it's a really nice comfy relaxed one to wear. The only adjustments I've made to the pattern for the version I'm wearing are this pattern and um, the way you finish the neckline is just by turning under the fabric and sewing it. And I've found before when I've tried to do that, the neckline sort of stretched out a little bit. So instead, I've added in a neckband, which I think um, is quite a nice way to finish the neck and gives it a little bit of a better finish than just turning under the fabric. So I added a neckband to the sort of, um, scoop neck. And I also lengthened the bodice just by about an inch. And I often found I need to do that on patterns anyway, just because I've got a fairly long body and I like where it sits now. I'll put up a picture so you can see what it looks on. And in terms of the fabric um, I use, this is a cotton jersey fabric. This came from an online fabric shop that's unfortunately since closed down. But I think it's a really pretty one, actually. It's this lovely sort of um, cornflower blue, blue colour with little sort of white little florals on and a few white spots too. And actually, um, when I bought this fabric, I bought enough so I can make a little dress for my daughter in too. 
So we have twinned in these um, dresses and I'll try and find a photo of us twinning in them so you can see that too. But she's not wearing hers today. She's in leggings and um, t-shirt and she's currently running around the trampoline um, while my husband's outside with them at the moment. And in terms of how I've styled this dress today, well, this morning when we went out litter picking, it was still quite chilly. So I paired it with a crop jumper over the top and a pair of chunky boots. But since we've got back home, the weather's turned a lot milder. So I've just been wearing it as it is, but I've still kept the tights on because it's not quite warm enough for bare legs yet. But I also really like this dress um, styled with a denim jacket and a pair of white plimp soles. I think that looks really good for summer or spring weather too. So that's why I'm wearing today. And it's a really nice, relaxed, comfy dress and a nice um, pattern by McCall's. And it's really um, yeah simple one to sew. I think it's described as a learn to sew for fun pattern designed for the beginner. So yeah, it's quite a nice, simple one that I tackled when I was fairly early in my sewing journey. I did find okay. So that's why I'm wearing today. So I'll finish up here. Um, go and join my family now in the garden and I will see you again tomorrow for another handmade outfit. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi there. It's day eight of Me Made May now. So it's Sunday today and it's just coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon. And we've been out this morning and then we got back and had some lunch and my children are just finishing off their lunch in the other room with my husband. So I thought I'd take the opportunity of sneaking in here and sharing with you what I'm wearing today. And today is a lovely day actually outside. It starts off a bit cold and overcast, but it's now turned into a really sunny day and I can't see any clouds in the sky from where I'm sitting here. Definitely got a bit warmer too, which is really nice. And I took the opportunity again today of wearing a dress and it is nice to mix it up on the weekend actually, wear a couple of dresses instead of jeans. I'm really enjoying that. And the dress I'm wearing today is a shirt dress I made using this pattern here, which is the Maya Sotis dress pattern by Deer and Doe. It's one of my favourite shirt dress patterns because I think it has some really pretty details. It's designed to be a bit of an oversized fit shirt dress and it's got this band collar and this v-neck that goes down into a button down bodice. It's got darts at the side and the waist too, which I think gives a really nice shape to the bodice. And you can either make it in a short sleeve like I've got on this version or you can add a ruffle on. It's got a gathered skirt with pockets. You can either make a one tier simple gathered skirt or you can add an extra tier on the bottom, which I think is quite a pretty sort of feature to it. And in terms of sizing, I've got the pay pattern, which goes from a European 34 up to a European 46. But there are a few extra larger sizes available in PDF if you go on Deer and Doe's website. And that takes the pattern up to a European 52 with a bust of 46 inches. But like I mentioned, it is designed to be quite oversized. I always size down when I make this dress and I always make the smallest size, which is the size 34. So I'm um, bust 32, waist 26, hips 36. And the size 34 is actually designed for bust 31 and a half waist 23 and a half and hips 33 and three quarters so quite a lot smaller on the waist and the hips and I don't think the hips is too critical because there's quite a lot of um, volume in the gathered skirt but even the waist on that size is still quite um, roomy on me and I can pull it on over my head without having to undo the buttons so yeah it definitely is oversized so I do quite like sizing down to give it a slightly more fitted look and I've always adjusted the Maya Sotis dresses I've made to lengthen the bodice slightly by about an inch just to bring it a bit closer to my natural waist and I also add a waist tie in just to cinch in a little bit and give it some shaping. So I'll stand up slightly so you can see what that looks like. See, I really like how that looks with the sort of, sort of tied in waist. Um, and my version here is the first version I made of the Maya Sotis dress. And I made it in a double gauze fabric. And I think the Maya Sotis works really well in the double gauze. And the double gauze fabric I used is um, from Lamazi Fabrics. And it's, it's got this navy base and the kind of crinkly double gauze texture. And it's got these little um, white dandelions all over, which I think are really cute. I don't think it's still in stock at Lamazi Fabrics anymore because I got this quite a long time ago, but I'll link their current double gauze collection if I can. Um, and then I added on little white buttons um, on the bodice just because I thought they'd make it sort of a little bit of a feature, but would also tie in nicely with the little white dandelions all over it. So I really like how they look on this one. And I really like a double gauze dress because I found this morning when it was a bit cooler, the double gauze keeps me quite nice and cosy, but now it's getting a bit warmer because it's nice and cottony and breathable. It's quite cool to wear. So I think it's quite a good dress for this sort of transitional weather. And I really like the uh, Maya Sotis pattern. I think that it comes together really well. And I think it's such a pretty little neckline with this sort of V-neck and this sort of band collar at the top. Yeah, I think it's a nice one, bit of an unusual detail there. Oh, and I made the version with the um, ruffled hem as well. And I'll put up a picture so you can see what it looks like on. I've got it on still today with a pair of tights like yesterday because it's not quite the weather for bare legs um, here yet, I don't think. And this morning when we went out, when it was a bit chillier, um, I teamed up with a denim jacket and a pair of white trainers and I'll put that outfit up too so you can see how it looked when I went out, went out this morning. And I made this um, dress, dress, I think at least a couple of years ago now. Um, it was when the Maya Sotis pattern was fairly new. But I have revisited the pattern quite recently. Um, just last month, I made another Maya Sotis dress in a quite a bright um, Czech fabric. 
And I talked about that one in my April makes video and I'll link that in case you haven't seen that one. But that made me think about my older myositis and I should really get those out too. And I do really enjoy wearing this one. It's really comfy to wear. and I think it has got some really pretty details to it. So that's what I'm wearing today. And it's been really nice to pull out another dress at the weekend, which is, like I mentioned yesterday, a bit unusual for me. So anyway, I better finish off now and head back to my family. So I'll leave you now and I'll see you again for day nine tomorrow. See ya, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi there, it's day nine of Me Made May now. So it's Monday today. And I've been up to school this morning and dropped the children off and now I'm back home. I've got the food shop due to arrive shortly. So I need to sort that out. And I've got a few other jobs to do around the house, but I thought I'd pop on here first and share what I'm wearing. And it's another really beautiful day outside today, actually. Even the day started today with sunshine and it's really warm. And I've taken the opportunity of wearing another fairly summery make. And this is a dress I made using this pattern here, which is the Stevie top and tunic pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. It's one of Tilly's older patterns. It's one I really like, actually. I've made both the top and the tunic version. I'll show you the line drawings. It's quite a sort of, um, sort of boxy, relaxed fit dress and top. It's got grown on sleeves and a sort of round neck. At the back, it's got this yoke that you make in two pieces so that you can open it and get it on over your head. And you can tie it either by adding on a little necktie at the back or a sort of rouleau loop and button option. There's also a patch pocket you can add and little cuffs on the sleeves. But the overall vibe is quite loose and relaxed. And this is a pattern that's designed for beginners. And I think it's great as a beginner pattern, not only because it's quite a simple construction, but because also the fit isn't too critical because it's quite loose shift dress style. And in terms of sizing, it goes from a UK 6 to a UK 24. And the largest size is for bust of 48 inches. So it's not got the biggest size range. It's not been extended to the full till in the button size range. They're now bringing out on their newer patterns. And when I make this pattern, I'm wearing the dress version today, the tunic. I make it in the UK 8, which is their size 2. And that's designed for a bust 32 inches, waist 26 inches and hips 35 inches. So that's my bust and waist measurement and one inch smaller on the hips. When you look at the finished garment measurements on this one, there's plenty of room in the hips, so I never bothered grading out. And it's still nice and sort of loose and roomy and relaxed to wear. See, I made the dress version with a little sleeve cuff. I didn't bother with a patch pocket. And it's just a really nice, relaxed, um, yeah, comfy one to wear. And I've got mine teamed with a pair of leggings today. It's not quite warm enough for bare legs yet again today, but I think it works really well, this one, with a pair of leggings. I've made a couple of versions of the Stevie sort of tunic dress now. And one thing I do like to do is to also make a little matching waist tie to go with it that I can add on to cinch the waist in. And I'll stand up slightly. I've got the waist tie on today, just tied in a bow at the back. And I'll stand up slightly so you can see how that looks. And I think it gives a really nice shape to the Stevie tunic just when you can cinch it in around the waist. But it is a removable waist tie, so I don't always wear it. If it's a really hot day, I sometimes just let it leave it sort of flowing and loose and boxy. And I quite like that for a really hot day. But I do think it looks quite cute with a waist tie on. And I'll put a picture up so you can see how it looks paired with a pair of leggings. I think the Stevie tunic works really well over a pair of leggings for this in-between weather. And this morning on the school run, I had it on with a little jean jacket on too and just a pair of trainers. Oh, and in terms of where I got this fabric, I got it quite a long time ago, so I can't remember where it came from. But I'm going to have a look and try and find out. Or I know Minerva stock a really lovely range of Dashwood Studio fabrics too, so I'm going to have a check on there too. But I'll try and find this fabric or something similar, and if I can, I'll link it down below. But that's what I'm wearing today. Another one of my older makes, but one I still really enjoy wearing, the Tilly and the Buttons Stevie tunic. But I better go now and get on with some house jobs, so I'll leave you here and I'll see you tomorrow for day 10. I think the weather's going to be cooling down a little bit tomorrow, so we shall see. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's day 10 of Me Made May now, so it's Tuesday today, and it's just coming up to half past two in the afternoon. And I'm on a bit later today because I've had quite a busy morning. I had a meeting about my children's school's um, summer fair, which is their sort of big fundraising event, so it's nice to get involved in that. And I came home and I spent most of the morning in very old scruffy clothes because I've been doing some painting and decorating. So it's been nice to get that done, um, but it does mean I've only just changed back in something handmade, ready to head out on the school run and collect my children from school. But I thought I'd have just enough time to pop on here first and share with you what I'm wearing. So the weather today is definitely a bit cooler than it has been the last couple of days. It was quite rainy this morning, actually we had some heavy rain, but the sun is now out, so fingers crossed we won't get rained on on the school run, because that's never fun. And I've got on a pair of ready-to-wear jeans today, but I've got a handmade top on, and the top I made using this pattern here which is a sagebrush top pattern by Friday Pattern Co, which is a really pretty woven top pattern with some really nice details. I'll show you the line drawings. So it's designed to be quite a loose fit top. 
It's got this ruffle on the front, which is quite a pretty feature with some gathering underneath. The neckline is finished with visible bias binding that you make in the fabric itself, or I guess you could add a different fabric for a sort of feature, which then goes round to a tie at the back, and there's a yoke at the back too. And it's got these sort of feature voluminous puff sleeves that are finished with an elasticated cuff, which ends just above the elbow here. So yeah, nice top with some interesting details. And I do find Friday Pattern Co. patterns always really enjoyable to sew up. I find their instructions really nice to follow. And their patterns are pretty size inclusive too. The sagebrush top goes from a size extra small up to a size 7X, and the 7X is designed for a bust of 60 inches. And when I make this, I always go for the size extra small, and that's designed for bust 32, 33 inches, so that's my bust size. The waist and hips for an extra small are 24, 25 and 34, 35, so slightly smaller than my waist and hips, but because it's quite a loose fit top, I have never bothered to grade out, and I find there's still plenty of room in it for me, so the extra small is just fine on me. And the version I'm wearing today, I made in this really pretty and rayon fabric that I got from System in Tarka. And it's a Cloud9 rayon fabric. It's really lovely and drapey and lightweight. And I think the print's really pretty too. So I've got a navy base with all these different coloured florals in little sort of clusters on it. Yeah, I think it's a really nice pretty print. And I quite like how the rayon goes with a sagebrush top because it gives quite a sort of subtle drapey effect to the voluminous sleeves because I'm not a big fan of a big statement sleeve on me. So I think you can make this top in a sort of more substantial fabric, like a cotton or a double gauze, and it would make it a bit more of a feature sleeve. But I do quite like the drapey look of the Emrayon with the sagebrush top. And actually, I did make an adjustment to take some volume out of these sleeves, and which is an adjustment I made on my first version of the sagebrush top that I made in a double gauze, where the sleeve would have been more of a feature. I don't think I probably needed to on this version because the sleeve is quite drapey, but I made the adjustment anyway. And I've actually written a blog post talking about the adjustment I made to reduce the volume of the sagebrush top sleeves. So I'll link that blog post down below in case you fancy checking it out. It's quite a quick, simple adjustment to make um, the way I did it. So yeah, I'll link it down below in case you find that of interest. But I really like the sagebrush top. I think the little ruffle on the front is quite a pretty feature. I like the little tie at the back, which you can see there. And I just think when you pair it with a pair of jeans, it just makes the outfit a little bit more interesting than the average top, which is with the little features it has. So that's my main today, and I'll put a picture up so you can see what that looks like on. But I better finish up off here and go and collect the children from school. So I'll be back on tomorrow for day 11. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's Wednesday now, so it's day 11 of Me Made May, and I can't believe it's the middle of the week already. This week seems to be flying by. And today it's a real grey day out there. It's drizzly with rain, a little bit cooler. And I've got on a dress that I think works really well for this sort of in-between, not quite warm, but not quite cold weather. And it's one of my favourite woven dress patterns, actually. And it's this one here, the Hinterland dress pattern by So Liberated. I think I've made about three of these dresses and I made them in fairly quick succession. I haven't made one for a while, but when I first made the pattern, I really enjoyed the whole construction of it and I really liked the fit. So yeah, I made about three in quick succession. They're all quite different to each other. And I think this was actually the first one I made. But I'll show you the line drawings of the dress. It's designed to be a fairly loose fit and woven dress. It's got a bodice and a gathered skirt. And you can make it either with a um, half placket just on the bodice or a full placket all the way down the skirt. And excuse my painty hands. I've been doing another little bit of painting this morning. I need to have a good scrub and try and get that paint off. Um, but yeah, it's got, you can either make it with a sort of short sleeve or a longer sleeve, or you can make it sleeveless as well. And then it's got different lengths for the skirt. But it's just a really nice relaxed um, dress pattern. And it's got a really good size range too. You can get it from a zero up to a size 34 and the largest size is for a bust of 58 and a half inches. And the version I'm wearing today is, as you can see, the short sleeve version and I made it with just the placket on the bodice so it doesn't go all the way down. I'll show you. And I also included the optional waist ties. The pattern has optional waist ties just to cinch in the waist a little bit. And the version I made is in this really lovely um, cotton linen blend fabric I got from Sew Me Sunshine. Um, it's not in stock anymore. I got it a long time ago, but I'll link the website down below. I'll see if I can find any cotton linen blends they have at the moment. I really like a cotton linen blend for a woven dress. I think it's such a comfy, breathable and relaxed, nice fabric to wear. And this one's got this really nice kind of quite large sort of gingham on it. It looks like a black and a white, but it's a very dark navy blue. And I had fun with the buttons on the bodice and chose these sort of yellow buttons for a little pop of colour. I really like how the Hinterland dress is constructed. I like how the instructions are written. It's got a nice um, finish on the neckline of bias binding, which I always like, as you can see. And it just comes together really nicely and I find it a nice fit on me. And in terms of sizing, I make the size zero 
which is designed for a bust of 31 inches, a waist of 25 inches and hips of 33 inches. So a little bit smaller than me. But from what I've read, this one does come up a little bit oversized and I didn't want my version to be too oversized. So I sized down um, one size and I find that works well for me and it's a nice fit. It's just really nice and comfy to wear. And I find this cotton linen blend is a little bit substantial. So it's quite nice for this weather where it isn't too warm. And I've just worn it with a pair of leggings and a black cardigan today. And I'll put a picture up so you can see what that looks like. So that's what I'm wearing today. This is an older make, but I always do enjoy getting it out. I really like the, the check print and the little yellow buttons down the front. And it is a really comfy dress to wear. So I'll head off now. Um, I was hoping to take the children to park after school today, but the weather looks really inclement. The clouds are just getting darker in the sky, so it might not happen. But anyway, I'll leave you now and I'll see you again tomorrow. Fingers crossed for better weather then. Bye. Hello, it's day 12 of Me Made May now, so it's Thursday today. And the weather is really lovely outside today, actually. It's been sunny and mild. And I'm wearing a dress to take advantage of the nice weather. And this is a dress I made using a pattern I really like, and it's this one here is the honeycomb shirt and dress pattern by Cocoara Crafts. And I do like a shirt dress pattern and I like this one because it has a couple of really pretty details to it. I'll show you the line drawings. So it's a shirt dress with a button down bodice and a gathered skirt with pockets. It's got a band collar. It's got this pretty panelled bodice on the front and back and the back's got a yoke too. And the feature I really like are these waist ties. You sew in two to each sort of panelling on the side and then you sort of bring them together to make little bows on the side and it kind of cinches the waist in. I think it's a really pretty feature of this shirt dress that makes it a little bit different. And I really like Cocoa Crafts patterns. I find their instructions really nice and clear and fun to follow. And this was the first time I'd sewn using the burrito method on this back yoke. And when I made this pattern, I found it really clear and it really sort of held your hand through how to do that. So it's a really nice pattern and it's size inclusive too. There are two size bands available. There's a UK 6 to 24, which is designed for a B cup. And there's a UK 18 to 36 that's designed for a D cup. So it's a nice size inclusive pattern and just really comfy to wear. Really nice, pretty shirt dress. And I've made a couple of summary versions of the um, honeycomb dress um, with the uh, sleeveless. But this is my version I think works really well in this transitional weather, but it's not really hot, but not really cold either. I made it short sleeved and I made it in this um, really pretty fabric. This is a brushed viscose fabric that I got a very long time ago from Sewis Faction. And I really like it because it's the sort of brushed, brushed nature of it. it. Makes it almost feel a bit like a sort of very lightweight cotton flannel, but just a bit more drapey, but it does make it a bit cozy. And I really like the print on it too. It's a sort of, I like this forest green background color and it's got white and black large scale floral prints on. So I just think it's quite a pretty print and I do like these colors. And I'll stand up slightly so you can see how the waist ties look. I think they're really cute how they sort of bring the dress in. And I actually originally made this dress and with long sleeves and a slightly longer length just below the knee. But I did find I wasn't wearing it and I had to think about it. And I think I decided it felt like it was wearing me a little bit with this large scale print and so much fabric. So I sort of cropped off the sleeves to, um, yes, sort of short sleeve. And I also cropped off the, um, the hemline just so it comes now just above my knees rather than just below. And I find it a lot more comfortable to wear now. It feels a lot more, more me and I really enjoy wearing it now. And in terms of sizing on this pattern, it does have a lot of ease in it. So I've always sized down and gone for the size six. That is designed for bust 31 inches and waist 23 inches and hips 31 inches. So the waist and hips are quite a lot smaller than my size. But the finished garment measurements for this size show the size six has a bust of 34 inches, waist of 32 inches and hips of 43 inches. So there's a lot of ease in this one. And I've always found, found sizing down has worked quite well. So I'll pop a picture up of me wearing it. Um, it's just a really nice, comfy, relaxed shirt dress to wear. And I do think it's quite pretty in this fabric. And then I'll also put up a picture of how I styled it today, just with a denim jacket and some white trainers. And I have actually bared my legs today. <laughs> it has been warm enough, which has been nice too. So that's why I'm wearing today. I'm going to head off and make myself a cup of tea now because I feel like I've been chasing my tail all morning. And I could do with just sitting down enjoying a couple of moments drinking a hot drink. So I will leave you now and I will see you again tomorrow for Friday day 13. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's day 13 of Me Made May now. So it's Friday today. And I'm really excited this morning because today I'm off to take part in my first ever sewing class. So yeah, quite exciting. Um, a friend and I are going to our local sewing studio, which is Sewis Faction, which you probably have heard of. And we are doing an introduction to quilting course. And it's a two day course, so it starts today and then it finishes next Friday. 
And like I mentioned, I haven't ever done a sewing class before. So I'm really looking forward to going and learning a new skill and spending a whole day um, talking and doing all things sewing. So it should be a lot of fun. And if you want to find out more about that class, um, in my latest midweek sewing chat episode, which I released this week, it's episode 13, I'll link it above. I'm sharing the fabrics I've got and what I'm going to be making on the Instruction to Quilting course. And then hopefully in my next midweek sewing chat episode next week, I'll be sharing a little bit about how I've got on, but I'm hoping it should be a lot of fun and I've been wanting to try quilting for a while. So yeah, it should be a good day. And today it's nice weather outside. The sun is just starting to break through the clouds and I am wearing a hack of this pattern here today, which is the Ogden Cami pattern by True Bias. It's a really nice woven top pattern for a kind of fairly boxy fit camisole with these spaghetti straps and a deep V at the back and the front. And it's another size inclusive pattern. There's a zero to 18 size range and a 14 to 30 size range. This is the zero to 18 size range, which is quite a straight fit cami, but the 14 to 30 range has bust starts for a bit more shaping and slightly wider straps for bra strap coverage. But I really like the Ogden cami. It's such a nice, simple, um, pretty shape. And I think it lends itself really well to hacking. So the version I'm wearing today is a pinafore dress. And I made this by hacking the Ogden cami by cropping it um, at kind of like an empire line. I'll stand up so you can sh see. And then I added on a gathered skirt, which has pockets in it too, to turn it into a little pinafore dress. So it's quite a simple hack. Um, in terms of sizing, I sized up one size on my measurements for this because I knew I wanted to wear it as like a layering piece. So my measurements put me at a size zero, which is chest 32 inches waist 26 inches and hips 34 inches, which is smaller than me, but not really relevant when I'm adding on a gathered skirt. But I sized up to the size two just to give a bit more room so I can layer it over a sort of top underneath, which is what I've done today. And I've got leggings on too, because it isn't so warm. And I think if I'm sitting still all day in the studio, I want to keep cozy. And the fabric I used to make this um, pinafore hack is a really lovely viscose um, fabric by Mind the Maker. It's quite a substantial viscose, so it actually works quite well as a pinafore. It's got a bit of weight to it. But it's kind of like a sort of, I don't know what the colour's called. It's almost like a sort of very sort of dark, I don't know, brownie black colour. And it's got on these really large gold hoops on, which I think is a really pretty print. I'll stand up so you can see a bit more. So it's got a bit of drape and a bit of swish, but like I say, a bit of weight, so it works well as a pinafore. And I really like it as a layering piece. And I'll put up a picture so you can see what it looks like on. And I really like the Ogden cami. I think it's a really nice pattern with this sort of deep V at the front and back. And it's so fun to hack. And I really like wearing this sort of um, baby doll style smock pinafore. It's really comfy and relaxed and easy to wear. So that's what I'm wearing today. And that concludes week two of my handmade wardrobe as part of Me Made May. So I really enjoy picking out different outfits each day. And I was taking a look back over the last two weeks actually, and I managed to wear a different pattern company every day of the month of May so far which I wasn't expected to, but it has been quite a fun challenge each day trying to pick out something by a different pattern company. So I thought I'd share with you the pattern companies I've worn so far in May. I've got a little list of them here. So far in May, I have worn Megan Nielsen patterns, paper cut patterns, grain line studio, I am patterns, closet core patterns, named clothing, McCall's, Deer and Doe, Tilly and the Buttons, Friday Pattern Co, So Liberated, Cocoa Crafts, and then True Bias Today. So I don't think I'll be able to keep up this wearing a different pattern company every day for the whole month of May, but it's really nice to mix it up a little bit. And it has got me thinking about different combinations and pulling different outfits out that I don't wear as much. So I hope you've enjoyed watching too and maybe got some ideas or just enjoyed seeing what I've been wearing every day. So I'm hoping to do another one of these videos next week for week three of Me Made Mate. So I'd love it if you would join me for that one too. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then thank you very much for dropping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would love it if you would subscribe and also press the bell icon so you're notified when my future videos come out. And to my regular viewers, then thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate all your support and your likes and all of your lovely comments. It's really lovely and it really makes me happy to be on here doing these videos. So thank you very much again for watching and I'll hopefully see you for another video soon. I hope you have a fun day. I'm really looking forward to going off now and getting ready for my sewing course. So yeah, see you again soon. Bye.